the uh, Catholic Mass, in order to be Catholic, must be in union with the Catholic hierarchy. It is not sufficient that the priest be Catholic, that the right be Catholic, that everything else about it be Catholic. An essential condition of the Catholicity of the Mass is that it is offered in union with the Catholic hierarchy and that it is authorized by the Catholic hierarchy. It is for that reason that people don't go to the Greek Orthodox, for example, which has a Catholic right. But it is a not a Catholic Mass because primarily it's outside of the Catholic Union, outside of the authorization of the Catholic Church. <coughs> So, during an ordinary time when you have a sitting hierarchy, the way in which that union with the Catholic hierarchy is manifested is by the fact that the priest is authorized to offer the Mass, and he offers it in union with the Pope and the Bishop, and those persons are mentioned in the canon. It's a very important place because that's the declaration of that of the fact that this is an act of the whole church in union with the entire Catholic hierarchy. And that's one of the things, that, and an essential point, that makes the, the Mass Catholic. When the see is vacant, the way in which that union with the Catholic hierarchy is manifested is precisely by leaving those names out. See, the, the, the Pope and the local bishop, because they're not there. Now, let's say in 1939, when Pius XI died, and there's a few weeks when there's no Pope, if a priest were to place another name in there of a false Pope or a false bishop, that Mass would not be a Catholic Mass. In order to manifest his adherence to the Catholic hierarchy, those spaces must be blank. That is, he is awaiting the election and appointment of a new pope or, or bishop, as the case may be. That's a very important point. That's so important that, for example, Pius VI forbade Catholics to go to the priests who had sworn allegiance to the civil constitution of the clergy in the French Revolution. Even for baptism, they would bring their, their children to be baptized. He said, that's wrong. It's wrong for you to bring your child to a priest who is, who is not in union with the Roman pontiff. It's wrong for him because you are an occasion of his sin because he has no right to give that sacrament. That's what Pius VI said, because that, that link with the Catholic hierarchy is extremely important. And Pius, the, uh, Pius VI also forbade that hosts that were consecrated by constitutional clergy could even be placed in Catholic tabernacles, despite the fact that they were validly consecrated. And they could not be distributed to Catholics, because they were the products of schism. And Pius VII called the use of the sacraments by the constitutional clergy wicked and illegal. That, that shows how important that link is, and I want to point that out to you. <clears throat> the Mass, furthermore, is not a spiritual pick-me-up. Some say, well, I, I need to go to Mass, I need to be refreshed. Now, the Mass might have that effect upon you. It may not. But to see it as a spiritual pick-me-up is Protestant. That's the precise reason why Protestants go to their services, in order to have a pick-me-up, in order to be stirred up, because they believe that all of their religion is in their hearts, in their feelings. The Catholic Mass is not a spiritual pick-me-up, and you don't go to it for that reason. It is the objective worship of the true God by the true Church. 
And whether you are edified by it or not, or whether you feel good afterwards or not, makes no difference whatsoever. You are going for that objective reason. And you go to please God, therefore, and not to please yourself. The Protestant goes to please himself. The Catholic goes to please God. And if the Mass is not pleasing to God because it is offered in union with heretics, you don't go. God is not pleased by your presence there. So in order to the, that the Mass be Catholic, it, 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 these qualities it must have, that the priest be Catholic, that the <clears throat> rite be Catholic, that the place be Catholic, it should not be in a Nova Sordo church, for example, where there is a mixture of religions. And that's one of the reasons why the indult mass and the fraternity of St. Peter, etc., is also wrong. Because it expresses the fact implicitly, and even explicitly, that the Nova Sordo religion is legitimate and good and Catholic which defeats the very purpose of what we're doing here today. And the Mass must be authorized by the Catholic Church. The SSPX cannot make the claim that it has an authorized Mass <coughs> because the Nova Sordo hierarchy says explicitly that their Masses are not authorized. They recognize them as the hierarchy of the Catholic Church. And their hierarchy says, your mass is not authorized. And they cannot claim what we do, that in the absence of the Catholic hierarchy, we should uh, continue the apostolate of the Catholic Church, because they say that the hierarchy is not absent. It's there. So no matter which way you slice it, they're wrong. If Bergoglio is the pope, they're wrong. If Bergoglio is not the Pope, they're wrong. Because they're recognizing a false Pope. If he is the Pope, they're not obeying him. And their Mass is outside of him. And their Mass is unauthorized by him. So no matter which way you slice it, it is wrong to be there. It could not possibly please God that you are there and participating in that in an active way. <clears throat> in other words, if Bergoglio is your Pope, then go to Bergoglio for your sacraments. It makes all the sense in the world. It is a completely, consistently Catholic principle. If Bergoglio is your pope, go to Bergoglio for your sacraments. You cannot break the link between the hierarchy of the Catholic Church and the distribution of sacraments and the offering of the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. It is non-Catholic to break that link. And that's why we are so insistent about the vacancy of the sea in order to maintain an entirely consistent Catholic position. And it's important that you follow that position and it is the motive of our being here. We, if SSPX is a viable path for you, it doesn't make any sense to have this mass. It doesn't make any sense that priests come from the United States or from Austria or from Belgium to offer a mass here, if it is legitimate to go to the SSPX. I'm sure you understand that. So, so please think about these things. Um, and, and finally, the, the issue that we face today is no longer the mass. You can have the mass in the Novus Ordo. That happened 25 years ago. The whole issue and the, the point of, of contention is our holy faith, Catholic doctrine, and communion with heretics. But with all of the religious congregations and indults and all motu proprios, you can have the Mass in many places in London. You have the Mass. But you don't have this Mass, except here. Which is truly in union with the Catholic hierarchy and not in communion with heretics.
If the Novus Ordo is the true religion, then you should be there. If the Novus Ordo is Roman Catholicism, then that's where we should all be this morning. If it is not, we must have absolutely nothing to do with it. And the test of your Catholicism will be your avoidance of it if it is not Catholic. So please understand that. Uh, also, uh, the SSPX, as we know, is about to cave in to the moderates. So it is not a refuge even in that sense. I mean, if we believe everything that they're saying now, if that's accurate information, there is more rumbling in that direction than I have ever seen in the past 40 years. They're about to cave in. So they're all getting on the Nova sort of train. And even the resistance does not object in principle to a reconciliation with the modernists. They do not, in their, at least in all of that I have read concerning them, give intrinsic objection to Vatican II. They will not say that the new mass is intrinsically evil, something that absolutely must be rejected. I have never seen them say that. They're just saying right now is not the time to do a reconciliation. But when you regard those modernists as the Catholic hierarchy, there is a necessary gravitational pull to be with them one day. The solution is, to put it bluntly, the dumping of Vatican II. It must be dumped. It's the only word for it. We cannot make any compromise. We cannot have any truck with the modernists. I hope that's a, an English word. That means any sort of uh, contact and reconciliation with moderates. It's very important for our Catholicism. So it's not merely a question of going to Mass. It's a question of being Catholic. So, that said, I will read the Epistle and the Gospel. 